What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a brand new Pop Dynamite video. And today we're going to be talking about something that I think we can all relate to. Yes, that's right. We're going to be talking about internet speeds and specifically, not specifically, specifically how bad our internet speeds are here and how we've managed to almost double and triple our current speeds. I know, it's pretty crazy, right? So let's get on into this one. So, for those of you who don't know, our internet is currently running off what's known as ADSL, or ADSL 2 Plus for us here, which back in the day used to be some really great technology, but since technology is advanced and copper sadly degrades over time, it's resulted in our internet being, well, let's face it, it is quite atrocious. And it's one of the big reasons why Australia is ranked 56th, 56th in the world for internet speeds. Which is pretty crazy when you think about it. There are some countries that are far less better off than we are that have far better internet speeds. Still, blows my mind. Thankfully, we have a saving grace, the NBN, which will deliver super fast speeds for everyone. Well, it was going to be our saving grace until our government decided to pursue what's known as FTTN, or fiber to the node, which essentially means they're gonna take some really nice optical fiber with delivering crazy fast speeds right to a box about down the road somewhere, and then jump back onto the old style copper, which basically means we're still getting copper speeds. It's just going really faster down the road there. I still can't get over how they thought that would be a smart solution that would increase speeds and have less dropouts. Like, seriously. I just don't get it. It's new technology, old technology. It just doesn't work. Anywho, that, that's a topic for another day. So whilst we wait for the government to deliver what's known as fiber, or FTTP, which is fiber to the premises. So in other words, optical fiber straight from the box into our house. Uh, well, we're stuck on our stupidly slow ADSL2 plus or that crappy copper. Well, we were until just recently. So that's where this little bad boy right here comes in. It's the Huawei B525 4G modem. Now, if you haven't guessed it already, this modem uses 4G towers like you get on your mobile phone to give us internet. It's almost like we're hotspotting the entire house off our mobile phone. Except instead of being our mobile phone, it's this little bad boy here. Now I know, <laughs> it seems crazy. And you'd think a fixed line even though it's copper, would deliver faster speeds to your home. But where we live, it's quite the opposite. So basically, what I'm going to be showing to you guys now is a speed test on our copper network. Now, the modem that I have set up on top of the fridge up there is actually what's known as a D-Link Cobra. So it shouldn't be affecting this test at all. It should be basically the fastest possible speed that we can get through our copper. And for the device that I'm using to test, it's going to be my iPhone XS. Um, using the speed test app, um, speed test app from ookla.net, so for those people that know. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run the test, as you can see, I'll show you up here. So as you can see, I'm connected to my Wi-Fi just up the top there, and I'm in the speed test app, just the app. Oh god, now I've lost it, there you go. Speed test app just there, so I'm going to hit go and show you exactly what kind of speeds that we actually get. So both download and upload, and it's quite depressing. So, there it is. Get rid of that. That's the speed that we're getting. There you go. That is our speed. Download and upload. So essentially, they're the speeds that we actually get here on our copper network. And they're pretty darn bad. Makes uploading videos almost impossible. And then not only that, since everyone's had Netflix and everything now, it makes it almost impossible for me to game, my brother to game, and my parents to watch Netflix. It's just a mess. Thankfully though, our 4G modem that I showed you just before, that B525, that thing, well, it's a bit of a different story. Yeah, quite a bit better speed with that. So, what I'm gonna do is now show you the speed that we actually get with a B525 modem. 
So now that we've done the test on our Telstra network and we saw our speeds get into about 16 to a maximum of 18 megabits per second download, we're going to swap over to our 4G modem and then we're going to run the exact same test and see how it fares. Alrighty, so now I'm connected to our um, 4G modem, which is running on the Optus network that you can see there. And I'm going to run the same speed test on the exact same phone and let's see how it goes. There's some interesting jumps there. So at the moment it seems to be very, oh and there it goes. It was seeming very similar to our home internet speed just then and now it jumped straight up. So look at it keep climbing, that's crazy. Sadly upload is still quite terrible, but you know, I guess I have to live with that. But as you can see, we got 51, 51 right there, 51 megabits per second download compared to our 16 before. That's more than double the speed for download using that 4G modem. So as you can see, we're able to double our speeds by switching over to that 4G modem compared to our copper network. That is how slow copper in general, and especially our copper here that's quite old and degraded, really is. It sucks. Our 4G modem can pull double and almost triple the speeds of our copper network. It's just absolutely mind-blowing. Now, when we went over to the 4G modem, there are some drawbacks though. Case in point, we don't have unlimited data now. We have a data cap of 500 gigs, which we didn't think we were going to go over, but since we have such faster internet speeds and we're able to stream things in 4K on Netflix, we found we're getting quite close and basically going over, so that's a bit of a drawback. And then not only that, days like today where it's quite rainy outside and it's very overcast, it can actually affect our signal, mainly because of clouds and other things that are obstructing the, obstructing the 4G tower from our 4G modem. With that being said though, all things considered, the speeds that we're actually getting and consistently getting are absolutely insane. It's a lot better than our copper network and I think, at least for the moment, that is going to be our stopgap for quite a while. Until we get finally fired to the premises and everything is hunky-dory. So I want to thank you guys for watching this new kind of different style video where I'm moving around in different parts of the house and showing off all the cool tech that we actually have going at the moment. I've got tons of new videos planned and in store for our channel especially ones to do with my computer because, well, let's just say I think it's upgrade time and we're sick of doing all those stupid Intel raids. So, fingers crossed shortly I should be getting a brand new PC and I'll be taking you guys on the ride for that one. Otherwise, I do have some car things I wanted to show and do, but they're going to be a bit further into the future, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and I should see you in the next pop down of my video. Bye.